not a whole lot of experience, but everyone starts somewhere, right? Yeah. So it should be fun. We'll it should be fun. And I think that this is gonna be two great players to commentate. Mind broken disaster versus Moophobia. Uh, two of my favorite players. Both of them uh, playing. Uh, both of them known for their spaces. Moophobia, tried and true Falco main. Uh, Disaster, he's going to be repping that Fox most likely though. In the last game, we did see him bust out the Falco whenever he was squaring off against his uh, mind-broken disciple, um, Erasmo. But here we're going to be seeing the Fox again. Fox versus Falco, a pretty interesting matchup overall. I think that Falco is one of those characters who really excels anytime he has control center stage. And right now we're seeing exactly what Moo's able to do with that. Able to string together such a beautiful sequence to take off the first stock in under the 30. But answered right back immediately by Disaster with that down smash. See, this this matchup and just spaces in general get like a bad rep that, you know, melee is just, you know, four characters. But even, even if most of the matchups are similar, it's like... It's always entertaining. Always entertaining. You're always, like, in, in a Fox and Falco matchup, you're always going to be entertained. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And right now, uh, once again, uh, going back to something that I touched on before, it seems like m primarily when I look at this match, uh, has done a good job of controlling the stage overall. Uh, you'll see him use options like bears to get some great coverage on platforms. But the one thing that Disaster is known for... <laughs> wow! Is apparently getting sent to the Shadow Realm. I was going to say that he's one of those players who I think is very explosive in his own way. And he's not afraid to go out there to really make opportunities for himself. Even if it seems like to others he might be overextended. But of course he overextends and he gets dunked for it. Yeah, 126% on Moo. He's got to be spacing probably around options like the bear and the nair. Doesn't quite space around that bear and ends up losing his stock for it. There's the back throw. Nice. The quick side B. Uh, Disaster was just a touch too high before dropping down with the shine uh, to get the shine spike that he was looking for. And look at Moo. The punish game so strong. 73% already. Shields through but ends up getting shield grabbed by Disaster. Back and forth we go here on center stage. Getting pushed off. Moo trying to go in and contest center with those dares. Ends up eating a back air for his troubles. It really seems just like a battle for center stage yeah. right now. Yeah, it's, like so, it's really big because for Disaster, his win condition is really simple. He wants to make it so that Moo doesn't have stage control. Uh, he gets some of those back throws and he gets some of those shines. That's just that's just kind of how he does it. Yeah, he's still trying to deny him center stage, but unfortunately it didn't work out for him in that case. Yeah, Moo's able to go in and tie it up. Falco's long legs coming in clutch, but the shine's going to be putting him right here in the corner. Moo's able to go ahead and use the laser and then roll out afterwards to go ahead and get right back onto it. Gives up a lot of stage control there. This is a really bad situation, but he's able to go ahead and reverse it. Still backed a bit into the corner towards the right side this time. Contesting again with those dares. Beautiful oh, shine into dare. That was beautiful. Yeah. Man. That is basically how every match that I play with a Falco player ends for me. It was, it was wonderful. <laughs> it, it was wonderful. And, and it's, I'm okay with that, man. It's a sight to behold. It's, it's beautiful. And he went just high enough to the point where the dare would avoid that little platform and end up dropping right through and going straight to the blast zone instead. And I don't know if Disaster was ready for it. He could have potentially been DIing around an option like um, like a bear because that, that was honestly when I saw the sequence what I expected. But... Great presence of mind from Mufobia to understand that he could use the dare at that height and it would slam Disaster down. He summoned his inner PP right there. <laughs> he sure did. Uh, maybe even a little bit of that West Balls right now. This Falco. Ooh, Weston Dennis. Falco on ice, but he ends up getting burned by that Firefox. Nice. A little bit of a reversal of aggression right now in favor of Disaster. He lands that back and Mu was not prepared there. Down Smash is going to be putting one on the board. First blood going in favor of Disaster. So both of these characters uh, have heavy, heavy long combos on each other on this stage, correct? Yeah, it's a, a stage like FD gives you uh, those, those target practice combos. There's right. no platforms really for your opponent to tech on, and it allows you to have really long, elaborate sequences that kind of go back and forth. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I think that that's really nice for Disaster. The combo game's kind of evened up, but Falco, I feel, on a stage like FD can just put in so much work. Definitely, he's gonna be looking for that grab, the uh, the chain grab on Fox here. Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what Fox is gonna be looking for, for sure. Uh, seeing as Fox has so many great follow-ups off of grabs, whereas for Moo, he's definitely gonna be looking for those shines. Nice up tilt there, just to pop him up ever so slightly. But once again, getting grabbed, that up air is gonna be making it so that this is a two-stock advantage in favor of Disaster. 
This is interesting too because uh, when you look at Fox right now, uh, it feels like Disaster is playing a very simple game, right? Relatively simple. But but that's just kind of I think how even though Fox has a really explosive, uh, really solid combo game against Falco, what Falco is able to do with an opening from a damage standpoint, I feel is just a lot more overall. Whereas Fox. It's not necessarily about the damage, it's about getting those kills. Like, even there, that up smash puts Mu in a terrible position, and it's gonna be allowing oh. Disaster actually to go ahead and take game two. Oof. Man, this set, dude. Oh. It's so good, man. I need yeah. to come out to more of these, man. It's it's so much fun to watch. It is. Well, uh, what are some things that you saw that were really different in that last game in comparison to the previous one? Well, I felt, uh... I felt like Disaster wasn't really... I felt like he, he was able to effectively um, connect his combos more in that one. Uh, you know, in the, in the first game, he he just wasn't connecting with his follow-ups That's well. right. Uh, the punish game uh, was stellar for Mu in game one, but Disaster with the stage switch was actually able to put on a pretty formidable punish game of his own. Mu counterpicking right over here to Yoshi's, and look at the payoff. An immediate stock once again under 30 seconds. Disaster pixels away from landing on Randall and being saved. <laughs> okay, nice shielding there. Swatted away. Uh, this is actually, uh, whenever I talked to Mu back when he started coming out to M&M's, he said that this was his least favorite matchup. And that's because Marth has that great disjoint, especially with that fair. He can snuff out any Firebird attempts from from uh, from Mufobia. So again, Disaster, all he's trying to do is just get Falco off the stage because as you're seeing right now, Falco on stage, terrifying. So much presence. Ooh, but a little bit too early right there on the roll and Disaster able to make it back and even up the stocks with that F-Smash. Are, uh, are any of these people headed to Genesis this year? I would love to see some of these folks at Genesis. It wouldn't surprise me. Uh, I haven't heard anything about it. But yeah, dude, I would love to see Texas go out and represent Genesis. <laughs> Texas uh, definitely has been leveling up overall as a state. And uh, it, it's just it fun really has. Watch. It's fun it really to watch. Has. Especially coming out to M&M's, you get to kind of see everyone grow over yeah. time. Yeah, dude. Wobble's getting that sponsorship. Oh, yeah. PGFX, oh, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> so good. So good. Uh, interesting from Mu. I think he's kind of starting to mix up what he's going to be doing anytime he has Disaster uh, over him and kind of trapped on the platform. In game one, we saw a lot of bears, but he's been mixing up what aerials he's going for, uh, which is, I think, kind of uh, preempting Disaster to maybe go for some shield grabs. Uh, and Mu is anticipating that and going using options that kind of go around those. That time, actually getting the roll up on time. Disaster not going to be able to make it back. He's going to still have quite the deficit, but if he can just get Mu off stage, he can maybe make some magic happen. Forward Smash is going to be doing just that, but not quick enough on the second Forward Smash. That was a beautiful ledge cancel that we saw from Mu. Able to act out so quickly after that Phantasm. He gets the grab and covers the ledge with that Nair. F Smash is going to be connecting. I don't know how much Disaster has left in the tank. He's not going to make it back on Randall, and he's not going to be taking this set. Disaster knocked out of the tournament. Mu Phobia is going to be advancing. He's able to overcome his woes with Marth, and he's able to take that set 2-1. That was great coverage there with the, the, that last forward smash. He, uh, on that third stock, man, he just kept pillaring. Like, he got a good 50 to 60% off on that uh, that third stock there. Yeah. And it's, it's his punish game on Yoshi's. It's fantastic. Yeah. We'll be seeing, I think that NC was right there. Beautiful. I love it so much. How does he know? How does he know in that split second? But, I mean, I guess the height was just high enough once you've gone through a scenario several times. Several, several times. Several times. Several, several times, yeah. I would imagine so. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, man, uh, I think I'm going to hop off the mic, let, uh, let someone take it else away. But uh, this was uh, a good time. This was a good time.